Hi, thanks for joining Art Kirsch and me again on Two Old Guys Review the Vintage Film Channel, one of our favorite places for old TV shows and old movies. Uh, this week, Art, we watched Sky King. That did, was so cool. Did we ever? I always loved that, watching that when, when they were on TV the first time around. Uh, yeah. And uh, my favorite character, even though... Uh, uh, niece Penny was absolutely drop dead gorgeous. Was actually Songbird, the twin oh, the, engine, the twin engine Cessna. The that plane. was I had I had a thing for a twin engine Cessna. Oh, like I, I'll I'll bet Cessna sold a lot of planes off of that show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. All I remember is I remember Penny because she was just the cutest preteen. Mm -hmm. um, I guess she might have been around uh, my age as I was watching. I don't remember. But uh, I remember Penny, and I remember the plane, of course. This was so cool. They chased down bad guys in a plane over the Arizona desert. I, was, I, I couldn't believe it. By you the know, way, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ruin it for you, John. Okay? She was an older woman. She's still alive, and she's 91. <laughs> Wait, the actress is... Uh, give me the name of the actress. Uh, uh, her name is uh, Gloria Winters. Gloria Winters, who played Penny... It's the only one in, of those actors that are still alive. And Sky King, and she's still alive at 91. Yep. God bless her. So she God was, bless her. She was, she was, she was, you, you, you were taken with an older woman. <laughs> she wasn't <laughs> older. She wasn't older at that time, but she Not is older in your than eyes. I am. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, Art, one of the things that made this uh, show famous was the technology of uh, the airplane, modern airplane. So this was 19... 51 to 59, it was on the air. Um, and the idea that people would, ha first of all, that anybody could own an airplane at that time, uh, but the idea that they chased down the bad guys in an airplane or search for missing people in an airplane was just really fun, fun idea. But it was a Western. It was all set in a Western. They were they were kind of like cowboys, and, and Sky King was kind of like a... a Western sheriff, even though he wasn't deputized or anything, he was just a rancher. Mm -hmm. But uh, here he is talking to somebody, or that is that Clipper? That's Clipper. It's, That's Clipper. Clipper. The Clipper uh, was the nephew. Nephew. And Penny was the niece. By, by the way, played by a fellow named uh, Ron Haggerty. Actually, no, Ron Haggerty. Ron Haggerty. I'm looking at my notes. He's the one that's still alive. Penny. Oh. Penny, not so much. Penny. Penny's not so much. Is that Penny there by the back of the plane? Uh, anyway, they all they all flew. Yes. Believe it or not. Yeah, this is this Penny. Good. How could you not love that face? Mm. Anyway, great series. Uh, you know, look. Let's face it. It's the fifties. If you watch this uh, film on um, Vintage Film Channel, of course, you know it's over fifty years old, so it's going to be a little hokey. But I still think it holds up, to be real honest. And it was a great premise. Just the idea that this guy was a rancher with a plane and he could chase down bad guys whenever needed, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, and I really enjoyed, I really enjoyed the series and I truly enjoyed watching it again. Uh, of course, I'm old enough to remember seeing it the first time. A lot of people, a lot of our viewers aren't that old, uh, but I think you'll get a kick out of watching it. it it's a great series. Um, mm -hmm. I had a note I wanted to share. It was created by the same guys who created Captain Midnight. Do you remember Captain mm -hmm. Midnight? Sure. And in fact, it originally, before it hit TV, was, like so many series, a radio yes. show. Yes, yes, right. it was. And, and, I, and I, think, I, I think that the, uh, was a Grant Kirby who played, uh, or Kirby Grant who played Sky King, played yeah. a character named Skyler something or other, who had returned from the war and was probably a pilot or something, and that's why they called him Sky, Sky, Sky. King, Sky. Yeah, because his name was Skyler or something right. or other, yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway, you mentioned radio. This is the era uh, when a lot of shows on television were adapted from radio shows mm -hmm. and including, you know, music of variety shows and comedy shows and things as well. This must have been at the time in the 50s when they put this on television, this must have been tremendously expensive to shoot. Because if you can imagine a radio show, people, six people standing around a microphone and some guy making the sound of the airplane going, you know, 
that was cheap. But here they actually had to have airplanes, and they, they, there's a lot of great stuff on the internet about how they shot the in airplane footage, mm. uh, which is fascinating for particularly television technology for the day. Um, and that's interesting. But what I want to follow up on is the radio show became famous for all its gadgets, all its uh, uh, right in. Let me see. One was a signal scope. I have no idea mm. what a signal scope was. Right in today, kids, and get your signal. Sky King signal scope. And then there was a decoder disc. Oh, everybody, I'm sure, had to have a decoder disc. Sure. And there's another one here, a Magni Glow writing ring. I don't know what that was, but I'm sure everybody wrote in with box stops or whatever. And I bet somebody in our audience actually has one, and they just ran out and they picked it up and came back and said, here it is, here it is, not realizing yeah. we can't see them. <laughs> My decoder ring, yeah. You know what? I I think television shows today should do that, should have silly magic premiums that people can write in for. Oh, you, I, mean, I just, I, you, mean, you mean like the Housewives of New York City? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can see where that would really fit in. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, did you love the show as much as I did? Absolutely. I, I liked it, and, and I enjoyed watching... Uh, uh, what um, Grace Gracie has up on Vintage Film yeah. Channel, and, yeah, and so a lot. By the way, a lot of other TV shows, and I know that we we're, we're going to hit a couple more in the next few weeks uh, of stuff that we haven't seen forever that were just bring us back to a happier, calmer, more complete time. Yeah, uh, with less uh, agita connected to it. Yeah, I love that. Look at that snake bite elixir. I just, yeah. you know. <laughs> But I'll tell you something about these old television shows. The storylines were n not a whole lot different than the kind of shows we see today. Right. And I don't know if if you found any connection between Sky King in an airplane, a, a twin-engine Cessna, and a show later, probably 20 years later, with Jan Michael Vincent called Whirly Birds. Do you remember Whirly Birds? You know, I... I, I remember the the name of it. And obviously, it was uh, uh, based on a Bell helicopter, one of those. Yeah. Uh, so I sort of remember that, but I don't remember too much about the show. Yeah, and and I thought to myself as I was watching this on Vintage Film Channel, I thought to myself, Whirly Birds, you know, even though it's not directly connected, really took a page out of the Sky King uh, playbook, if you will, out of their scripts. Could have mm -hmm. taken the same scripts again and just updated him 20 years later, put in a, a good-looking guy named Jan Michael Vincent, and uh, you got a new show with new technology. So, right. yeah. Anyway, great stuff. I hope everybody tunes into Vintage Film Channel, uh, Vintage Film Channel on YouTube, vintagefilmchannel.com. Lots and lots to watch, and um, and enjoy Sky King. It's a hoot. By, by the way, I was just thinking about something. You know, maybe uh, we could do a new TV uh, series uh, with um, with those uh, you know those senior carts, the uh, golf carts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah we, we can, I don't know, maybe go out and and uh, go uh, for a Medicare appointment and <laughs> and rush somebody to a Medicare appointment. That would be the new Sky King, huh? Okay, have your people have your people call my people. Oh, okay, I'll do that. But in the meantime, uh, everybody in the audience should go to Vintage Film Channel. Dot com or Vintage Film Channel at the YouTube uh, Vintage Film Channel and see a, a whole bunch of wonderful, uh, nostalgic TV programs and movies that some of which you've never seen, some of which you have, and you're just going to have a lot of fun. Yeah. And and look for Penny. She's, she's a fly girl. Yeah. Great stuff. See you soon. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.